Philadelphia assistant hockey coach Nick Raboni. It was there in his Sunrise Hospital bed that the lifelong hockey fan and the Las Vegas native watched the Golden Knights take the ice for the very first time. Heads, heads. Let's go, let's go. You need to gain this far post as fast as you can, cut up the center of the ice, then make the pass to the winger. Crisper, crisper. I think, uh, you know, I look at life a little bit differently, for sure. Uh, it's extremely short, it's precious. So for me, it's just, you know, enjoying everything that you do in life. Uh, give, it, give it all you got and give it 100%. D, fire the puck quickly. Make a play. In his fourth season as the UNLV assistant hockey coach, Here. Nick Raboni is back where he belongs. When things go bad, this is something that we've turned to. Whether it was a bad relationship or, you know, something going on in our personal life. So there's no surprise to me that when things turn bad and it's time for the recovery process, the hockey is going to be a big part of that for us. And uh, for Nick to get back on the ice, I knew it was important to him. So even though it's probably earlier than it should have been, I was like, all right, well, I know this is what you're going to do. Nick was one of more than 500 injured one year ago today at the Route 91 Harvest Festival, a bullet striking him in his chest. His younger brother, Anthony, a paramedic with the Henderson Fire Department, helped save his life that night. We've obviously always been very close. So it's just I get to appreciate it a little bit more now because I uh, almost didn't get a chance to keep doing that. Born and raised in Las Vegas and lifelong hockey fans, the Raboni brothers couldn't wait for the Golden Knights' first regular season game. And nothing, not even a gunshot wound to the chest, was going to stop them from watching it. Yeah, it, it was pretty emotional for me. I mean, obviously at the time I was watching from my hospital bed, all those guys um, were able to kind of put together um, the special night uh, and in remembrance of those 58 souls was, it was very important and I, I think they took a lot of pride in that. It was a, it was a tough night for everyone, but I think it was um, a night that made everybody a little closer. We are Vegas strong. I want people to realize that there are a ton of good people in this world that I think sometimes, you know, we focus too much on the negatives and not enough on, you know, what is positive. And what was positive of that night is all those people that put their life on the line. Not only that, not the people that were helping that night, but the people who were lined up the blood drive the next day, um, the people who were there for the psychological help for the months to, you know, years after. Everyone who played a crucial role in the recovery of the city and how well we were able to get back on our feet, that's what needs to be remembered. 